Good evening to you. Thank you for being with us here at 5. I'm Lori Lizarraga in tonight for Tammy Milchuk. And I'm Jim Scott. We begin tonight with breaking news. Eight months after Micah Holson bake vanished, detectives here at Bakersfield are now saying his case is a homicide. 17's Olivia LaVoice has been following this case from the onset and joins us now with details. Olivia. Well, Jim, Micah's mother tells us that an arm found in the Kern River this summer has been identified as belonging to her son. Micah's family has known from the start he would never disappear willingly. For the last eight months, his mother has done dozens of media interviews. She's gotten the attention of numerous local government leaders, and she's rallied together with two other mothers, creating what has become so well known as the Bakersfield Three. Now, this news comes after a private lab matched Holson Bakes DNA to that of the arm. Bakersfield police say they can't confirm any DNA results until they get results back from the Department of Justice. However, they do say Michael Holsenbake is now being investigated as a homicide victim. The horrifying discovery was made in August by a group of teenagers who felt something at the bottom of the riverbed near Hart Park. What they found was a duffel bag filled with rocks and an arm severed from the forearm down. The devastating news confirms what Micah's family has long suspected. Bakersfield police also confirmed today that they are taking over the investigation into missing woman Bailey Despot that was previously investigated by KCSO. The mothers behind the Bakersfield Three have always felt Micah's disappearance, James Colstead's murder, and Bailey Despot going missing were all connected. Now getting the news that one detective will be handling all three cases gives a sense of confirmation that these cases are indeed intertwined. Now today's news is earth shattering for the Holsenbeck family. More than ever, they need someone to stand up and give them answers. They have a piece of their son and that's it. If you know anything, call Bakersfield Police Detective Chad Garrett at 326-3504 or you can remain anonymous by calling secret witness at 322-4040. Now, meantime, there is also some resolution in a civil case involving the mother of missing woman Bailey Despot. Earlier this week, she fought accusations that she was harassing her daughter's then boyfriend and his new girlfriend. The new girlfriend, a friend of Bailey's, asked the court for a restraining order against Jane Parent. On Tuesday, 21-year-old Sarah Wiedemeyer told a court commissioner she now lives with Bailey Despot's former boyfriend, 42-year-old Matthew Queen, and is pregnant with his child. She said Jane Parent harasses them when she shows up to Queen's court hearings for his pending gun charges, has others write threatening things on social media, and frequently is seen in her and Queen's neighborhood. Jane was quick to respond that yes, she does go to Queen's hearings, and yes, she is periodically in their neighborhood. Her reason? She says Queen was the last person to see her daughter, and Queen's neighborhood is the last place where she saw her daughter before the then 20-year-old vanished in late April. In her ruling, Commissioner Linda Etienne said Wiedemeyer had the burden of proof and she failed to prove that Parent had harassed her. The commissioner felt Parent had reasonable explanations for her behavior. Wiedemeyer feels is harassment. Now, in the end, Sarah Wiedemeyer's request for a restraining order against Jane Parent was denied. In studio, I'm Olivia LaVoice, 17 News. Olivia, thank you. Now, within a period of 33 days this spring, Micah Holsenbeck went missing, James Kolstad was shot to death, and Bailey Despot was reportedly last seen by her boyfriend. In the months following, they became known as the Bakersfield Three, as Olivia mentioned. Their cases remain unsolved. For the last nine months, we've been out in the community talking to people who knew the Bakersfield Three. So many people seem to know some version of what happened, but they're afraid to come forward. And with only part of the story, the mothers of the Bakersfield Three are wondering if the truth will ever come out. 17's Kristen Price joins us now with their stories. Michael Holson Bake's life was chaotic in the days leading up to his disappearance. He talked a, a lot about being concerned that people were going to hurt him. Um, he was afraid, felt like he needed to defend himself. Michael Holson Bake was last seen March 23rd by an extended family member. He was crossing the intersection at Mount Vernon Avenue and Flower Street near Kern Medical. His mother didn't have a reason to be concerned for more than a week. And I hadn't heard from him for about a week and a half, which was very unusual. Two different individuals called us and said, is Micah staying with you? And um, we said, no. 
he's not with us. And they said, well, we can't find him anywhere. And that was when we got very, very concerned. Since then, there have been stories of sightings all over the county and even outside of the state. We have heard so many stories, probably at least 50 different scenarios, maybe. There have been some reoccurring stories that, um, that we, we believe are closer to the truth about what happened. 16 days after his family last saw Holson Bake, 38-year-old James Cole's dad was shot and killed, leaving a small party at a chiropractor's house in southwest Bakersfield. Of course, anyone would want to know why. You know, why James? Why, why kill him? The chiropractor, Dr. Sukjit Bajwa, has since agreed to surrender his chiropractic license because of drug and gun convictions. Bajwa's attorney said she advised him not to comment on the case. A lot of the people that were hanging out with him were doing drugs. Including Micah Holzenbake. I knew that my son had been with Micah two weeks prior to James's death, which would have been right before Micah went missing. It, it really was about, they not only knew each other, but their circle of friends were common. Bailey Despot's then boyfriend, Matthew Queen, said he last saw her April 25th in a neighborhood near Palm Avenue and Renfro Road, but little other information has ever been released. Supposedly that's where he last saw her. I don't think it is. I think the last place was at his house. Bailey Despot was 21 at the time she disappeared. Her boyfriend was more than twice her age. We've gone to the house where they lived multiple times. Queen didn't want to talk to us, but he's made lengthy Facebook posts saying he believes Bailey Despot ran away and that her mother is set on making him look like the bad guy. He also confirms he too knew Holson Bake. It was just very obvious that this was not a coincidence. That there, and I'm not saying that the, the same person necessarily was involved with the three, um, all three of them, but, but the, the groups of people that were around each of them, they, they all know. I mean, they know. People out there know. In the early months of our own investigation, we found police documents linking the key players and others, validating the mother's suspicions. A sheriff's office search warrant from June reveals detectives were investigating Queen, Despont, Holsenbake, and three others for allegedly manufacturing and selling illegal guns. The stuff, you know, that they were involved in, these people know. They all know each other. It's a big circle of uh, criminal activity over here in Rosedale. The extent of their involvement isn't known, but after Despot and Holsenbake disappeared, Queen was charged with two counts of possession of a firearm by a felon. The case is ongoing. As the months go on, the mothers have come together, working tirelessly to find answers on their own. I've always called it the, the worst club you would ever want to be a part of. Through their dedication and support, they're determined to know what happened. It just makes me feel like I'm doing something to find her and in the process, we're going to fix some things along the way that need fixed here in the community of Bakersville and Kern County. So other people don't have to go through this horrible nightmare. Kristen Price, 17 News.